Good morning, explorers. Good morning. We are passing through Ormond Beach today, yep. and we decided to stop at one of our favorite locations, Donnie's <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> so we're actually going to be heading over to uh, Burlow Park. Burlow Creek State Park. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go get some donuts, and then we're going to head over to that park. Um, if you remember, we have been here before when we, we stopped in Daytona. We had to come back because the donuts here are delicious. Yeah, they were phenomenal. So we're gonna go pick it up, uh, probably to go order, and then we're yep. gonna head over to Burlow, which is where we'll catch up with you later. Yep. This is what we ended up going with. It looks delicious. If you're in the Ormond area, definitely and get yourself some donuts. I had to have coffee. Yeah, on to our next stop. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Fairchild uh, Oak entrance. Um, so there are two entrances to the park. The other one is to the plantation ruins. Uh, we're gonna go check that out too. Hopefully we can find it. They do have a path that connects it, but it's like 6.8 miles and we just don't feel like hiking almost 13 miles. <laughs> this is the Fairchild Oak. It is 400 years old. Not quite as old as the old senator in St. Augustine's, but, but it is still bigger. It is a lot bigger. <laughs> we think it's because it had more uh, room to flourish and yeah. not sitting in front of a Howard Johnson. It's not a Howard Johnson anymore. You're right. It's been, it's been changed for years. I don't even know what it is now. Yeah, <laughs> some sort of motel. But this oak tree has survived hurricanes, fires, droughts, wars, pretty much any folly of mankind. And uh, as you can see, it's still standing. The only thing is, is they ask you not to stand on the limbs that are uh, that are uh, placed around it. So this place is actually free to get into. You just come in and it's this little driveway that we barely saw. We had to make a U-turn. Um, it's free to come in. There's biking, there's hiking. Uh, they do have bathrooms and picnic tables. Uh, and then like, like we said, there are two different entrances. This is the Fairchild Oak Tree entrance. We're gonna hopefully find the plantation entrance coming up here in a little bit. Yeah. So, but you know what, I'm starving. Let's go dig into our Donnie's Donuts and then we'll walk around and do some stuff. All right. So these are some of the delicious donuts we ended up getting. Um, I think we have Fruity Pebbles. This is a banana pudding. This is the Boston cream, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's a Death by Chocolate, a Butterbeer, and oh, the Elvis. It's really cool. This thing looks like it actually like rooted back into the ground or it's actually the roots itself. After you see the tree, you come over here and you can park here for the whole day, but it does say that they close a half hour prior to sunset, so make sure you don't forget and take too long. It's like six miles to the Barlow Plantation State Historical Site. Um, we're just going to hike just a little bit. We're not going to hike the whole six miles. <laughs> we just don't got time for it. Yeah, that's six miles there and six miles back. <laughs> yeah, be prepared. Be prepared. This was actually named after Ronald Skip Whalen, who apparently loved nature, forest hiking, everything like that. His friends and family gave money to uh, preserve this area. The Skip Whalen Trail was actually the small half loop. I would say it was about a quarter mile. It really wasn't that big at all, but they did have some signs out that showed you uh, the different types of uh, species of trees. Yeah. Um, the South Head Trail is the one that actually takes you to the plantation. And I think we're gonna hop in the car and go drive to that entrance because we just don't have it in us to walk today. 
Not 12 miles. Yeah. <laughs> So this is $4. Uh, fun fact, we've been calling it Burlow when it actually is Bulo. Yeah, unfortunately when I was writing notes, I wrote the wrong thing down. So I've been calling it the wrong thing. Sorry, when you um, look up 15 different things. You or make do a, it at midnight. Yeah, or do it at midnight. <laughs> you do make a mistake. The trail is actually 13 miles in length. Total trail begins 3.5 miles upstream from this point. Trail finishes 6 miles south at the High Bridge. I actually have a picture. Um, this is just a representation of what the plantation would have looked like. Uh, it was built in 1821, it says, but it was actually destroyed in the Second Seminole War in January of 1836. All right, I think we're going to go check out the plantation site. It's only about a quarter mile walk, so I think we actually will walk this one. Hopefully. <laughs> and only then if we mile. have time or if we're going, you know, we'll have time. Yeah. We're going to go to the nature trail to the sugar mill ruins. And then the slave quarters. And then the slave quarters. Yeah. All right, let's go. Right. Well, this property or plantation was about 6,700 acres, and about a thousand of it was dedicated to the uh, planting of sugar canes. And they were one of the top 12 plantations from St. Augustine to Cape Canaveral uh, to produce. It says it's a well, but the exact use was unknown. So there was a second well, and that's why I guess they were confused about the other well that we saw. Sugar mills before the 1800s were largely powered by animals. But according to this, in the 1830 census, that it was uh, 193 persons that were enslaved here to operate the mill. In 1831, most mills were powered by steam. Yep. And then when did this mill burn down, Gage? This mill burned down in 1836 by the Seminoles during the Seminole American War. It looks like there's a beautiful area. It's a nature trail they have here. So we were walking along and we come across this uh, hollowed out tree. Uh, we talked to several people who think that they believe that it was a, a controlled burning that they burned out. But that's pretty neat. I mean, you can walk literally in. walk into it. Yeah. <sighs> Be a nice little hiding spot. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I don't know when this would have actually been hollowed out in that, but it's pretty cool. We ended up making a full loop. We came, off this. we came off the nature trail when we started over on the, uh, the side of the plantation. Yeah. Um, fun fact, it actually is all one and the same. So yeah. it just leads you to the end there, which is about a quarter mile. The sugar mills that way yeah. that we showed you. Which the plantation doesn't exist anymore. And the slave quarter site is all part of one and the same. Yeah, we didn't see it. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever been here and you know more about this place, leave the comments below and help other people who might be traveling the area. Positive comments. Yes, positive comments, please. <laughs> Okay, explorers, I think that's going to conclude this video. Um, Below, Below Creek State Park is uh, it's really nice. Uh, if you're really into exercising, it's a great place to come. Hiking, biking, kayak and canoeing. Yeah, six um, miles. Yeah. Each way. So. Each way, so 12 miles if you're really into it. <laughs> if you want to do a round trip, yeah. But uh, thank you for coming along with us today. We had a great time here. Yep. Keep exploring. We'll see you on the next one.